Hi, hello, good morning. Have a nice day. Today you are going to know about Lala Mangeshkar, who is the singer and she is known the queen of melody. Yes, the lesson name is Lala Mangeshkar, the queen of melody. Before we go to class, you have a game, just play. This lesson is related to music, so the name of the game is Name the Instruments. Play, then we can go to class. Yes, the instrument name is piano. The instrument name is guitar. Students say guitar. The third one is yes, violin. Fourth one. Yes, trumpet. Fifth one. Can you guess this instrument? Yes, xylophone. Tabella. Students guess what is the instrument? Clarinet. Can you guess this instrument? Cello. Students, I hope that you'd have known some instruments' names. Next, you are going to know about Lada Mangeskar. Look at the picture. She is Lada Mangeskar. Let me tell you about the lesson. Lada Mangeshkar, the Queen of Melody, is a biographical passage that tells us about the life and works of the legendary Lada Mangeshkar, the voice of India. The story opens with Lada's birth, her early life and her aspirations to become a singer from a very small age. She lost her father when she was just 13 and with patience and perseverance made her way up to become one of the greatest singers the country has ever produced. You are hearing the background song which is sung by Lada Mangeshkar. I think that you are very interested to know about Lada Mangeshkar. Why should we wait? Let's go to the class. Let's go to the class. The name of the lesson Lada Mangeshkar, the Queen of Melody. First, you have warm up session. Music and dance are important components of Indian culture. In Indian culture, these two things are important components of Indian culture. What are they? Music and dance. These famous music musicians have been taken music to the world stage. Students, look at the pictures. These famous musicians these famous musicians have taken Indian music to the world stage. So these persons are very important in music. So these famous musicians have taken Indian music to the world stage. Match the names of the musicians with their pictures. Match the names of the musicians with their pictures. Students, look at the pictures. How many pictures are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. How many pictures are there? 4. You have to match the names of the musicians with their picture. Now I will read the name. Listen carefully. Sivakumar Sharma. Amjit Ali Khan, Hari Prasan Chaurasia, Chakir Hussain. So you have to find who is Sivakumar Sharma, who is Amjit Ali Khan, who is Hari Prasan Chaurasia, and who is Chakir Hussain. So for your understanding, I write one. 
two, three, and four. So the first picture, who is one? Hari Prasan Chaurisya. Hari Prasan Chaurisya. This is one. So in the first picture, no. What he is playing means bansuri. This is not flute. Flute is shorter than bansuri. So the first picture, who is the first? Who is the first picture means Hari Prasan Chaurisya. Second one, Jahir Hussain. Here you have in your book, you have here you can write Jahir Hussain. This is the name Jahir Hussain. Third one, this is the third one, Amjit Ali Khan. Amjit Ali Khan. What instrument is he playing? Means sarud. S K R O D. Sarud. What instrument Amjit Ali Khan is playing? Yes, Amjit Ali Khan is playing sarud. This is the Indian instrument. He has taken this instrument to the world stage. The fourth one. Yes, Shiva Kumar Sharma. So four, three, one, two. The first picture. Who is the first picture? Means Hari Prasan Saurisha. Second picture. Jahir Hussain. Third one. Amjit Ali Khan. Fourth one. Shiva Kumar. Sharma. Students, now uh, let me tell you what are the instrument or uh, instruments are they playing? Let me tell you. The first one, the instrument name is bansuri. Second one, tabla. T A B L A tabla. Third one, already have told you. That is sarud. Fourth one, santur. S A N T E U R santur. So in already you have known some instruments known instruments name now you have known these instruments names also bansuri tabla sarud and santur these musicians names are Hariprasan Saurisya. Jagir Uzzain, Amjit Ali Khan and Sivakumar Sharma. Students, let's read about Radha Mangeshkar. Read about the life and works of Radha Mangeshkar, the voice of our nation. It was 28th September 1929. A happy day for the Mangeshkar family. It was 28th September 1929. What happened? Yes, Lada Mangeshkar is born. 1929 means 20th century. Now 21st century. She is our first born, a baby girl. What shall we name her? Seventy. Here, who is Seventy means Lada Mangeshkar, mother. What is her father's name? Pandit Dinanath Mangeshkar. Pandit Dinanath Mangeshkar. So, students, when she was born? 28th September 1929. What is her mother's name? Seventy. What is her father's name? Pandit Dinanath Mangeshkar. She is our first born a baby girl. What shall we name her? Seventy Pandit Dinanath Mageshkar looked fondly at his daughter. Let's call her Hema, said the happy mother. So happy mother. So her mother named Hema. So let's call her Hema, said the happy mother. But a few days later, Pandit Dhiranath had another idea. He was a classical singer. So, what is her father? Her father was a classical singer 
untatter artist untatter artist drama actor there was a female character called latiha in a play he was acting so her father basically her father was a classical singer and that artist so when he was acting in a play what is that play name he didn't mention in the play there was a one female character it is called latiha so after that seventh i want to name the baby lata at first they named as hema after her father acted in a play in a play there was a female character then her father wants to name the baby lata students now do you know now what is her name lata her family name mangeshkar so she is called lata mangeshkar so the baby was named lata lata showed potential in acting as well as music when she was quite young and started quite means very so when she was very young and she started she showed potential potential means capacity in acting as well as music not only in acting as well as music so she showed her talent not only acting but also music when she was young that is very important students this is the first page this is the third prose page number 39 in your english book so far what we have seen when lada mangeshkar was born means 28th september 1929 She is our first born a baby girl. What is her father's name and what is her mother's name means mother's name is Savanthi father's name is Pandit Dinanath Mangeshkar. At first her mother named Hema after that her father named Lata. Then she showed potential not only acting and music when she was young these are the important points in the first page now let's see next page she started accompanying her father to the studios before we read this page let me tell you where she was born she was born in indore it was in madhya pradesh so when she was born we know but where she was born she was born in indore it was in madhya pradesh let's come to the class so when she started accompanying her father to the studios studios means where the film is taken and where the song is recorded it is known as studios accompanying accompanying means going along with her father so she started going along with her father to the studios at the age of 5 she began to act in her father's musical plays the parents also got her admitted to a good school so at the age of 5 she started to act in her father's musical plays then the parents admitted her to a good school pandit dinanath was surprised to see that the child stopped going to school after her first day he asked his wife what what the matter was so students pandit dinanath was surprised to see that the child stopped going that means what the child refuses to go to school after her first day so pandit dinanath her father asked her mother what is the matter seventh day couldn't hide a smile so on seventh day couldn't hide a smile why don't you ask her yourself she replied 
so why don't you ask with her seventhy replied then her father asked daughter lata why have you not been going to school that means why didn't you go to school lata why have you not been going to school pandit dinanath asked his daughter well baba baba means daddy well baba i was only teaching songs to the other children and the teacher stopped me that means what when i was teaching songs to the other children the teacher stopped me he don't teach the songs like that she is telling so i have decided not to go to school because they won't let me sing so they won't allow to sing songs that is why i didn't go to school this is the reason why lata mangeshkar didn't go to school means in the school the teacher won't allow to sing songs that's why she decided not to go to school pandit dinanath couldn't help but smile at the little girl's determined answer so pandit pandit dinanath couldn't help but smile at the little girl's determined answer so at the age of 5 she have taken a determined answer uh, pandit dinanath couldn't help but smile in 1942 when lata was just 13 years old in 1942 when lata was 13 her father died of heart disease students very sad no when lata was just 13 at the age of 13 her father died because of heart disease when it happened yes in 1942 that means when she was born she was born in 1929 when her father died in 1942 at the age of just 13 by this time there were four more children in the family look at the children not only lata mangeshkar in 1942 there were four more children in the family who are they meena asha usha and hridayanath so totally how many children are there five children five children lata mangeshkar meena asha usha and hridayanath so there were five children in the family the family faced great difficulties at this time so without her father the family faced a lot of problems at the time a closely family friend a close family friend vinayak damodar karnatik a close family friend who is the close family friend vinayak damodar karnatik he came to the family's help he was the owner of a film company he was the owner of a film company navyuk chitrabad and helped lada get started in her career as a singer and actress so after her father died a close family friend vinayakar tamodar karnatik came to the family's help he was the owner of a film company so who is vinayak tamodar karnatik means vinayak tamodar karnatik was a was a, a close family friend and he was the owner of a film company navyuk chitrapath and helped lada get started in her career as a singer and actress in the early years lada sang for marathi films students here i have to tell one thing she sang songs not only marathi in india over many languages she has sung the songs including tamil when vinayak's company moved to bombay now mumbai no maharashtra mumbai where is it mumbai is in maharashtra so in the early years early years lada sang for marathi films when vinayak company film company moved to bombay bombay is known as now mumbai 
in 1945. She also shifted to Bombay. She started taking lessons in Hindustani classical music and began recording songs in Hindi. So after coming to Mumbai, what she is doing means she is taking lessons in Hindustani classical music and began recording songs in Hindi. Vinayak Tamadar Karnatik died in 1948 and Gulam Haider, a reputed music director, famous music director, became Lata's mentor and guide. What is meant by mentor? An experienced and trusted advisor. So after Vinayak Tamadar Karnatik died, a famous music director became Lata's mentor and guide. That means Lata's an experienced and trusted advisor. Who is that? Gulam Haider. I requested a well-known producer, Sasadar Mukherjee, to give Lata a chance in his film, Sajid. What is the film name? Sajid. So, after that, Vinay Dhammodar Karnatik, Gulam Haider became an experienced and trusted advisor to Lata. He requested a well-known producer. Next, who is the famous producer? Sasadar Mukherjee. So that Gulam Haider requested Sasadar Mukherjee to give a chance to Lata in his film Sashi, Sahid. Lata has a uniquely melodious voice. What is meant by melodious? Sweet sounding. Her voice was her voice is sweet like that. So Lata has a uniquely melodious voice. Mukherjee, if you give her a chance, you will not be disappointed. So, the Glom Haider requested Sasadar Mukherjee to give a chance to Lata. If you give her chance, you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. You feel very proud. You feel very happy. But Mukherjee dismissed the request. That means what? Mukherjee avoided, dismissed the request, cancelled the request. Her voice is too thin either. Her voice is not shoot like that Mukherjee told. But Haider is telling, you are making a mistake Mukherjee. She has a golden voice. Her voice, how is it? She has a golden voice. Mark my words. A day will come when producers and directors will come to her and beg her to sing in their flames. So Mukherjee is telling what you were, her voice is not suit. So he dismissed the request. Then Haider is telling you are making a mistake Mukherjee. She has a golden voice. Mark my words. A day will come when producer and directors will come to her and beg had to sing in their flames. Yes, it is happened. Mukherjee didn't agree to launch Lada Mangeshkar and it was Haider himself who gave Lada her first big break in his film Majbur in 1948. So Mukherjee didn't give a chance. So Haider himself who gave Lada a chance. It was a big break. The film name was Majbur 1948. After that what? Yes, she became a successful singer. Let's see. Let's read the third page. There was no looking back for Lado after that. So after her first big break, Majbur film, so there was no looking back for Lado, for Lado after that. Her melodious voice enchanted all those who heard her. Enchanted means filled with great delight. So who heard her songs is enchanted means filled with great delight, mesmerism. Her voice mesmerized all those who heard. Soon producers and directors were lining up to request Lata to sing in their films just as Haider had predicted. 
has either told no you are making a mistake mukherji she has a golden voice mark my words a day will come when producers and directors will come to her and beg her to sing in their films yes what haider predicted it happened so one of lata's first major hits with the song ayaha anewala from the film mehal 1949 since then there have been many many unforgettable songs from numerous films who can forget the immortal song immortal means here remembered forever so her songs or remembered forever immortal songs pr kiya to darna kiya from the film mughali zim 1916 who can forget her songs from bagis 1972 lada has recorded over a thousand songs that enthrall us to this day enthrall means delight happiness on 27 january 1963 This is the important information students listen carefully on 27 January 1963 Lada sang the patriotic song patriotic song song for nation hey mera watan ke log ho that means oh people of my country so in the presence of the prime minister of india pandit jawaharlal nehru So when it was sung on 27 January 1906 in the presence of the Prime Minister, in the presence of the Prime Minister of India, who is that? Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. It is said that the song brought tears to Nehru's eyes. So when Lada Mangeshkar is sung, when Lada Mangeshkar sang. this patriotic song at that time this song brought tears to nehru's eyes that was a beautiful song ladan ki log lata has also recorded memorable duets with famous singers like mukesh manna dev mahendra kapoor mohammad rafi and Kishore Kumar. Not only these people, but also S B B Bal S B Bal Subramaniam. So Radha has sung songs with even S B B. S B B means S P Bal Subramaniam. She has recorded Mira Bai's Bajans, Kalip Gazals, and made an album of Ganesh Arthi as well. So she has sung the devotee songs also. students look at the pictures lada mangeshkar receiving the bharat ratna award from the prime from the president lada mangeshkar lada mangeshkar as a child lada mangeshkar with her family let's continue since 1970 lada has had many concerts in india and abroad concerts means music shows not only in india in abroad also abroad means foreign countries her first concert was at the royal albert hall london in 1974 she was the first indian to perform there where in london at the royal albert hall in a career spanning over 7 tickets so tickets means 10 7 tickets means 70 she has recorded song for over 1000 hindi films and has sung in over 36 regional languages of india so she has recorded songs for over 1000 hindi films and she has sung in over 36 regional languages of india including tamil all including tamil she has received three national film awards four film for best best playback singer awards and 12 bengal film journalist association awards the dada sahib balke award was bestowed on her in 1989 she has received three national film awards four film for 
Best Playback Singer Awards and 12 Bengal Film Journalist Association Awards. The Dada Sagi Balke Award was bestowed on her in 1989. She has also been awarded the Bhatma Bhushan 1969, Bhatma Vibhushan 1999 and the Bharat Ratna 2001, India's highest civilian honor. All the awards came to her. Lata Mangeshkar's melodious voice continues to delight us to this day. Enthral. She has been rightly called the queen of melody by her innumerable fans. Yes, it is correct only. She has been rightly called the queen of melody. The queen of melody by her innumerable fans. That means n number of fans. Students. I hope that you would have known about Lada Mangeshkar. Her early life and family. Lada Mangeshkar is an Indian playback singer. She was born on 28 September 1929. Parents Dinanath Mangeshkar, father, her mother name Sabanthi Mangeshkar. Siblings Meena, Asha and Usa Mangeshkar as brother Hridayanath Mangeshkar Beginning of career In 1942, when Dada was just 13, her father died of heart disease. The family faced a great difficulties at his time. Dada got her first big break in Klom Haider's movie Majboor in 1948. She has sung many hit songs. Ayekha Anevala from Mahal movie in 1949. Then PR Kya Tara Darna Kya Mughal Hi Azim movie name year 1960. Chalti Chalti from Bahila year 1972. Aye Mera Vadan Ki Loho and 27 January 1963 Lada sang the patriotic song Aye Mera Vadan Ki Loho in the presence of then Prime Minister of India Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Students, she has received so many awards. Let's see one by one. She has received three National Film Awards, four Filmfare Awards, 12 Bengal Film Journalist Association Awards, the Dada Sagi Balke Award. She has received Batma Bhushan in 1969, Batma Vibhushan in 1999, and the Bharat Ratna 2001. Students, you have homework. Read this lesson two or three times, then complete reading comprehension A and B. A. Write true or false. B. Read the sentences and answer the questions that follow. So, read this story about Lada Mangeshkar, then complete A and B. This is your homework. Do it and send it to me through whatsapp did you enjoy this movie the story about Lada Mangeshkar yes I hope you enjoyed so we also if we try definitely we will achieve dear students Lada Mangeshkar has sung in over 36 regional languages of India including Tamil let me show you a Hindi patriotic song which is sung by Lada Mangeshkar. Just watch and enjoy it. Hey, hey, come on, please.